All right, YouTube. So, uh, came back from a little wedding trip from Minnesota and not feeling the best. So, I'm at home today just kicking it, and I thought, well, <clears throat> I'll do a video on uh, my three Martin guitars. And, uh, I got this Hercules rack from my dad for my birthday last year, and I never use it, so I propped them up on here to kind of take a gander at them, and the and, uh, reason I never use it is I just keep my guitars in the cases on my case rack, which is pretty sweet. I, I love that thing. It was like less than 500 bucks or whatever, so that's pretty cool. Um... So anyways, let's get to the guitars. All right. I'll start with my Martin um, Carpathian Spruce Blacktop. Uh, I think it's called a Special. I'll look at the label and tell you. Uh, it's in a video, but... All right, anyways... Truth be told, I was kind of looking for a, get a D18, and I played like three of them, and I always felt like a D18 would be like, ah, you know, it's a D18, and there's one that I thought was all right, but I guess I'm just not a D18 guy, and I don't know, for some reason they had a deal on this. So I got a couple hundred bucks off, and I knew when I bought it that it didn't have a traditional dovetail joint, that it was the simple dovetail. Yeah, that's what it says. It says special, Martin and Company special. So it's not a custom shop. It's like, a, I think I called it a musician's friend guitar center exclusive. But the cool thing about this guitar is... is it's got some unusual features, you know, the Carpathian Spruce VTS top, the Blackwood, doesn't have any figure, I said that before in one of the videos, um, back and sides, from what I understand on the forearms, Blackwood's going to get rare, and Australia's not going to ship that much out of it, I know that Taylor is moving away from it on some of their guitars, because it's hard to get, and it's probably getting more expensive. I'm not sure what the neck is, if it's mahogany or Spanish cedar, um, which are basically the same thing. I mean, yeah, they're two different species of tree, but the same type of density and and uh, strength to weight ratio, that thing. Uh, it's got VT enhanced pickup. I mean, it's kind of cool to have a guitar with a pickup. Um, it's not usually something I look for in a guitar, and what I gotta say is it's kind of a plain Jane, you know, doesn't have the beveled pick guard, it does have ebony fretboard and bridge, um, just got the Martin die cast tuners, you know, everybody likes the butter beans now, and you know, a lot of people still like the Grovers, I, I don't mind the Grovers, um, if you look at a lot of Martins, though, and I think in the late 90s and early 2000s, even on, like, D42s and stuff, they were using this just this sealed tuner. So it's a good tuner. Comes with a strap button. I mean, so it's kind of like a... It's kind of like a complete package, you know, and I paid seventeen fifty. It was supposed to be nineteen fifty. I... I think is what they were. Uh, action's a little high on it. I think part of the reason is is it's got a it's got a monster saddle in the back. I mean this thing's huge. You could definitely bring it down. But you know I I play a lot of the. Oh, 
well, the thing about the action too is it's a, it's it's lower and more curved here, so the high strings aren't that high. scallop brace so you get that boom um yeah it's a cool guitar i like it i tried selling it couldn't get what i wanted out of it so it's gonna stay with me i'm not gonna try to sell it again <clears throat> i'll go to the middle one last uh so like i've had some road series guitars i've had um two i had both the tens. I had a spruce top ten and a sapele top ten. Out of the two, I actually like the sapele one better. I think because it came with medium strings on it, but it just it was a cool guitar. It had a it had a tuner that was a little wonky. If it was still in my collection, I'd be I'd I'd still play it all the time. I liked it. Um, so I got this Martin Dreadnought Junior. I think they call it the ten. Uh, Red Knot Junior made in Mexico. So the new ones, well, they're not new. They came out like three, four years ago. They're a shallower depth. Kind of got a nice little curve on the back. Uh, kind of like a, I don't know, it's just the way they kind of rolled the edges. It's got binding on the front, but not on the back. Rich light fingerboard and bridge. It's not forward shifted. Again, this one's action is really good, but the saddle on the back, it's a monster saddle. And, uh, yeah, it's a, I think it was $500. Uh, it's a cool little guitar. <laughs> Yeah, I dig it. Strap button. Uh, and then the back button's plastic. Usually I take those out, but, you know, I might actually do that. That way it doesn't crack. <coughs> cool old guitar, 500 bucks. Highly recommend it for somebody who is just looking for a couch guitar, play at home on a budget. All right, so here's my last one. This is my this is my baby. So it's a standard Martin D28. The saddle on this one is not that high, um, for good or bad. Action's pretty. Action on this one's probably better than either of those. Um, probably took a little bit more time doing the setup. Yeah, if you if you know the reimagined D twenty eights, eighteens, HD twenty eights, pretty much know the specs. Uh, 
basically what they did is they added the butter bean tuners, aging toner on the top, and they forward shifted the bracing. Um, other than that, uh, I think that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's this one's got a real nice set of dark rosewood. I don't know if you can see that, but it's it looks like a good set, at least what I think a good rosewood set should look like. It's it's pretty, and uh, you get the market tree uh, back strip. That's cool. Binding. I like. I actually like the the white black white black white black binding herringbone's cool uh too um i mean i would have been hap happy with either a d28 or a hd28 they are very different guitars i mean the thing about the d28 is you kind of get that uh chang so you get the Chang on the D28. I think a lot of those Johnny Cash recordings and stuff, they're probably using D28s from like the late 40s and early 50s. And one thing I do have to say about the Martin Special with the Carpathian and this is they're two different necks. That is a lot thinner up in here. Uh, this is more rounded. I played a D28 that was a reimagined that had a thinner neck than this they're not all the same i mean i know they're using probably c and c and then they're doing the curvature or something with the file by hand but this one this one's got a light, nice little chunk to it and then of course on the d28 you get the volute personally that's that's my favorite feature on on the guitar is the volute. There's just something about the Martin volute too. Uh, all the a lot of boutique makers and stuff they do volutes, but theirs are theirs are uglier. And I don't know. I like I just like this guitar. I just do. <laughs> play this guitar more so uh, I get used to the feel of it. I kind of baby it and keep it in the case. 
because it's going to be my retirement guitar. All right, well, thanks for listening to me blabber. Thank <laughs> you.